Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle might be one of the worst kept gaming secrets in recent memory. Rumours about it were spreading before the Nintendo Switch was even revealed, and details about its development have been spilling out everywhere. Comicbook.com, a site that I write for, even posted some art from it not so long ago, which you may have seen. As I'm making this video, the game has still yet to be officially announced, but we already know plenty about it. Allegedly, it was pitched by Ubisoft to Nintendo a few years ago, and is being developed by Ubisoft. Ubisoft's Paris and Milan groups, according to some internal slides leaked by Nintendo World Report. What you may not know, however, is that this is actually not the first time that Ubisoft has explored doing a crossover between their Rabbids franchise and Mario. As it turns out, the concept of combining Mario and Rabbids is one that has been floating around Ubisoft since as far back as the Wii era. There have always been vague rumours about this, but after digging into it, I'm now able to prove that some small experimental work was really done on it. I first learned of this rumour from someone I spoke to when uncovering Ubisoft's unreleased Wii U game, Know Your Friends. The same source that provided me with footage of that game shared with me that Ubisoft had explored doing an adventure game in which the rabbits would have invaded the Mushroom Kingdom. There was talk of an early idea for a story that was supposed to be a subversive, self-aware take on the Mario series. Fast forward a few years later from me hearing about this old rumour and a Mario Rabbids game is actually happening now. As I was digging into that, a source of mine tipped me off about Ubisoft's aforementioned previous attempt at it from years earlier. I was shown art from Ubisoft's old concept, sourced from an artist who worked there at the time. The concept art depicts Mario chasing after some rabbits who were taking off with Bowser held above their heads. It's set in the Mushroom Kingdom, which you can tell from the warp pipes, colourful hills and other stylistic touches. The image certainly plays into those old rumours I heard from another former Ubisoft staffer, but I was anxious to learn more. I got in touch with the artist responsible for the image to see what they would have to say about it. According to them, this was indeed from an old attempt of Ubisoft's to gain access to the Mario IP and negotiate some kind of crossover. It was apparently made in around 2010 at Ubisoft Paris. If it had went forward, it would have been their next project following on from Raving Rabbids Travel in Time. It was a top secret matter at Ubisoft and information about the concept was withheld from some of those that worked on it. The artist that I spoke with told me that they were given a vague special assignment from Ubisoft's management to work on it. The art made for it was intended to be part of a presentation to Nintendo to pitch a full game. However, something ultimately prevented it from getting to that point. A formal pitch was seemingly never made to Nintendo. The project would end up as an internal concept at Ubisoft and never made it beyond that. Another source at Ubisoft that I spoke to for this video, who was also involved with the concept, suggested that it may have been shut down by Nintendo before it could even be properly pinched. They reckon this was due to Nintendo's lack of interest and reluctance to let them use Mario. They believe that Nintendo at the time was very selective about the pitches they accepted from third parties to use Mario, but that has started to change in more recent years, hence Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. For those who will no doubt wonder, I wasn't able to find a direct connection between their old concept and the Kingdom Battle game we have today. Both have the involvement of Ubisoft Paris in common, but I didn't find anything to suggest that they are in any way linked. For more videos and covering lost video games, be sure to subscribe and check out my channel. For extra content and to see my videos early, you can support me on Patreon from as little as $1 a month. Thanks for watching.